Sherlock plays a key role as Sleuth of Organics on Mars, assisted by its partner Watson. Now, they've become the focus of attention with unprecedented views intended to help solve the mystery of the stuck dust cover on this episode of Mars Guy. In episode 149, I presented the latest challenge encountered by Perseverance, a stuck dust cover on the Sherlock instrument. This is a major concern for a mission intended to search for evidence of ancient microbial life on Mars. Sherlock has two ways to hunt for organic matter, and it's gotten hints of it in rocks observed earlier in the mission. That's not evidence for life, but evidence for the building blocks of life. We last left Sherlock with a partially opened dust cover, showing signs that it could keep going. Two days after I posted that episode, NASA posted a news story about the problem, mentioning the engineers' efforts to further open it, by altering the amount of power going to the cover's motor. Perseverance has since driven to a new location, pausing for a few sols before heading off to investigate this boulder, shown with Mars Guy for scale. While here, it resumed detective work on Sherlock. Apparently, in a bid to gain additional visual clues, the team opened the cover of Watson, a high-resolution color camera that uses nearly identical hardware as Sherlock. This is the first time we've gotten to see Watson fully exposed like this. That red color is from a coating on the inside surface of the sapphire window used to block undesired near-infrared wavelengths. Notice how the cover is flipped all the way back beyond 180 degrees. Here's how it looks in the lab during the last portion of opening. The cover actually snaps into a locked position. This also happens during closing. It's noteworthy that Watson is essentially a clone of the Molly instrument on the Curiosity rover operating in Gale Crater for the past 13 and a half years. I just learned that Molly had a stuck cover in February of 2017. These images are from Molly looking past the dust cover, partially blocking the field of view and affecting the autofocus. Within a few sols, the problem was fixed, although the reports don't provide any explanation. Watson's lights were switched on during the visual inspection for reasons that aren't clear to me. They look more impressive than the original test of Watson's lights looking through openings in the dust cover, which are backed with a Lexan window. Sherlock has the same set of white LEDs and two little ultraviolet lights, but not the same openings and Lexan window because it would interfere with the Raman and deep UV measurements. In another first for the mission, the lights of both Watson and Sherlock were turned on after dark at about 7.20 p.m. The low light levels pushed the limits of mass cam Z, producing streaks that probably are readout artifacts of saturated pixels in the CCD array. Thanks to reflection from the stuck dust cover on Sherlock, the nighttime image helps give a deeper look into the instrument, which looks notably free of dust. I noticed that the lights were turned on just as the day on Earth flipped to the 18th of February. For aficionados of the mission, you'll recognize that as landing day back in 2021. This makes it the third anniversary of Perseverance on Mars, so maybe the lights are birthday candles. One thing's for sure, though, those lights are the only artificial illumination on the whole planet, a rare bright spot in another dark night on Mars.